All right, so we've gone to the backside now. And you'll notice, or if you haven't noticed, if you take a look at 5, 6, 7, and 8, you should notice that, yes, they look similar. They're still quadratics. Bless you. That was Rebecca. But you'll notice there's a difference because of the number that's in front of x squared. If you notice on 5, 6, 7, and 8, every a value is greater than 1. Okay, so you'll notice in 5 it's 2, 6 is 3, 7 is 2, 8 is 2. All right, now, you'll also notice that I do not have a table or a box with, either of, with any of these. Okay, so I'm not expecting you to use a table or a box for 5, 6, 7, and 8. All right, so I think these problems are a little bit more challenging. If you can manipulate this stuff mentally in your head, it makes it a little bit easier. If you can't, that's okay. You'll just have to do a lot more work to check to see if you factored correctly. Okay, so... As I told you previously, the main thing you want to know here is what values, when you plug them, in, them into x, will make it all become 0. And we're not going to guess and check. We, talk, we saw how that would take longer, except Leslie did it for us. But it would take longer if you try to guess and check for this. So instead, we're going to factor. You'll notice right away, you'll notice, thank you. That was the teacher. <laughs> if you notice right away, I write down my factors, my parentheses. Okay? On the previous ones, 1, 2, 3, and 4, it always started with x and x. But I'm going to write 2x and x for this. And if you don't know why, it's because 2x times x makes 2x squared. So that's a change. So just keep in mind, for this one, you'll have 1 would be 3x for number 6. Okay? Now... Because I'm not using a box, I still want to start out by asking you for factors of C. So what are factors of 4? 2 and 2 and 1 and 4. And I'm not putting any negatives because if you check out this sign here, what's the sign of my letter B? Still a positive, so I'm only going to deal with positives. But just be careful when you get to 7 and 8 because you'll notice there's some negatives there, so just be careful on 7 and 8. All right, so at this point, you have to decide. Do you want to use 2 and 2 or 1 and 4? Okay, here, 2 and 2. If you use 2 and 2, since they are exactly the same number, I'm going to put 1, 2 with my first factor and another 2 with the other factor. Now, I have factored it, but let's see if it's right. So I am going to bring in part of the F word, even though you know I don't like the F word. Okay, I'm going to bring part of it in, and I think about something I call the OI. Okay? So the OI is because I want you to check the outside numbers and the inside numbers. What's that OI? OI, outside and inside. Uh -oh. <laughs> OI. All right. Now, I'm assuming that you've already checked 2x times x. What was 2x times x? And I'm assuming you've already checked what's 2 times 2? Four. 4. So we're all good there. So the question is, am I getting 9x? Well... What is 2x <laughs> times 2? What is 2x times 2? 4x. What is 2 times x? What happens when you add those together? Is that 9x? No. So have we factored correctly? No. no, we haven't. So we begin again. That's a Taylor Swift song, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know Tay-Tay. Okay. Just put it back. All right. Now, Charlize, I think you told us two and two, right? Now, if they were different numbers, I would say, you know, you could switch them, right? Put one here and the other here. But they're both twos, so switching them doesn't change anything. So I'm going to erase those as well. There we go. OK. I'll put them back. Yeah, sorry, you don't have to. How are you supposed to know which factor you're supposed to use? Exactly. Huh? You have to, you have to like, try to put them down. I mean, honestly, if I'm, if I'm going to be honest with you, I've done this so much that I just do all of this mentally to figure it out. All right? But if you're not there yet, that's okay. All right? Okay, now we're going to use 1 and 4, but you have a choice to make. Do I put the 1 and the 4 here, or do I switch it 4 and 1? You have to decide. The 1 goes in the first one. The 1 goes in the first one. Thank <laughs> you. 
just ruining my teaching. Just ruin my teaching. Now we'll check using the oi, the outside and the inside. So again, um, Charlie, to kind of answer your question, I do this and I check it in my head. Okay, what's 2x times 4? 8x. What's 1 times x? 1x. When you add that together, you get. So when you're saying, like, how do people know? They're doing that mentally. Or they've tried it and they've tried it out. Okay? And as you do more of this, you'll get better at it. Okay? Now, again, are we finished? No. But are we factored? Yes. yes. So we have made sure that this right here is the factored form of 2x squared plus 9x plus 4. So now, based on that theorem I taught you previously, you're going to separate them and set them equal to 0. Because if one of them becomes 0, then the whole quadratic becomes 0. All right? All right. Now, I think most students can do the one on the right. What number plus 4 makes 0? Negative 4. Very good. But students have issues here. Most students that mess this up for the one on the left, they just write negative 1. Do you guys see that? Yeah. But the reason it's wrong is because, do you see this 2 in front of the x? Yeah. You've got to put that in the denominator. Well, so it out, it yeah. Let's see. So over here on the left board, as you walk into my room, 2x plus 1 equals 0, all right? If I were to solve this like you did in Algebra 1, you move the 1 over, what does it become? How do I get rid of the 2? Divide by 2, and I'll look at that. There's your answer. Uh, because technically I, don't, technically I don't need that work to be shown. So I just want to make sure that, yes, if you're watching my video, what I just did was I solved this equation on a separate board. But again, I hope now all you want to do is, what's the opposite of 1? Negative. negative 1, and then divide it by that. OK, so if this was a 4, it would be negative 1 over 4. OK? This is it, yeah. So these are my zeros. Do you want to see if they're right? Let's see if they're. Yes, love. Decimals are fine, too. Okay. All right, whatever you want. Um, let's see. What is negative 1 half squared? 1. No. Negative 1 half squared? 2 over 4. Oh, wait. I mean, 2 over 4 is 1.25. 2 over 4. 1.25. Okay, I, I got you, bro. Oh, it's 1 fourth. I was close. I was close. Oh, yeah. I was thinking 1 eighth. I'm scared. I am scared. One fourth. I think what you did, Jennifer, is what is two times one fourth? Two fourths. So we have a half. What's nine times, what's half of nine? 4.5. But it's a negative. So I'm going to write plus negative 4.5. Bear with me, we're almost there. What's a half plus negative four and a half? A half plus negative four. Plus four, zero. What I just did is, yes, that's why I have a calculator. What I just did is not required. It's just if you want to know if they're the zeros. Let's try this one. It'll make you feel better. What's negative four squared? 16 times two, 32. Nine times negative four, negative 36. And if you were to go left to right, you would see that's also Zero. Okay. Again, what I just did is not required, but if you would like to check to see if you got the right zeros, the right answers, that's it. All right. Any questions?